Guys, how's it going? Carl here and Max, my son from North Coast Constrictors. It's been a pretty busy morning here at North Coast Constrictors. We've been putting in the hatchlings out of the incubator that have had their first shed and putting them into the new hatchling rack, which I downloaded, I made a video on about a couple of minutes ago. And I've been finished, I've been doing that all morning, and then I was going through all my snake racks, changing water, doing what I do, and then we opened up one of these uh, big uh, 46 litre tubs over here and this girl's uh, laid a couple of days early and there's a massive massive clutch of eggs inside there now max and i here have taken a bet okay we've we've done a we're trying to guess the amount of eggs this is one of the biggest females that i've got and uh i'm 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 winging it and i'm, I'm going on a flyer and uh, I'm, I'm gonna say 12. I'm gonna say 12 eggs. Our biggest clutch so far is 12. This female's bigger than, than that female, so we'll, we'll see. Max, what do you say? What do you, we get two guesses each. I say 10 or 12. Max, what do you say? I say 11 or 9. 11 or 9, 10 or 12. Okay, so, you know, let's, so without further ado, let's, let's pull this female and see how many eggs we get. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up the tub now. I'm gonna pull this. Have a look at this female. She's a nice big girl. You can see that clutch of eggs there. She is looking superb. I don't want to get bitten. I'm wearing my gloves just for hygiene reasons. Hello, sweetheart. Okay, so get a nice grip around the tail here. Oh, we've got some hissing going on. I do not want to disturb the eggs in any way. I do not want to hurt her. And there we go. I've got her off the eggs. Now, well, the first thing that I do, well, the first thing that I should have done is take the water bowl out. Max, please take the water bowl for me. I'm going to just close the tub. The first thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look at this girl here and I'm going to make sure that she's not egg bound in any way. Okay, so what I do is I, I run my, my fingers down her belly like that. Okay. And you can see she's very, very concave right down. You can see how big she is. She's a massive female and she is absolutely 100% not egg bound. Okay, so I'm going to go get her into a, a holding tub now of fresh water and let her soak while I do these eggs. Okay, right, so welcome back. So now we're going to do an egg count and we're going to see, oh, we're going to see uh, <laughs> how many we got. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Hang on a second. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve eggs. I win. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, it's time to take these eggs. It's our biggest. It's our. Uh, it matches our biggest clutch of the season so far. Our biggest clutch has been twelve eggs. We've got another one, zero slugs from what I can see. We're going to separate these now. We're going to put them into two separate egg boxes, six eggs in each. And let me get cracking with that. I'm going to candle them. I'm going to put them in. I'm not going to put that on camera. It's just going to take too much time. I've already done quite a few videos of that. Anyway, guys, matching the biggest clutch of this season. What a winner. And I'll end off this video with a, a description of what the pairing was. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But we're not finished the video yet. <laughs> I'm going to do another part. This is my son being um, over, uh, very enthusiastic, not over enthusiastic, no such thing. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so we've candled the eggs and out of the 12 eggs, unfortunately, it looks like there's one here that has got no veins. Um, I candled it, I put a question mark on it, I've left it separate. The eggs that have stuck together, we've left together. 
I had to separate one or two on this particular clutch. You can see they were laid quite upright. I couldn't close the lid, so I had to separate and leave an egg on the side there like that. These here as well, we also laid these three facing upwards, the embryo. I've marked them all, but, but you'll see that the black marker is on the side and not on the top. But uh, anyway, 11 good eggs. One questionable egg, um, and they are going into the incubator now, and uh, we'll see what happens in 60 days.